On the dial, there are three pointers. Black shows the current pressure. Green is the lower limit. Red marks the upper limit. Colors may vary by model or manufacturer. In the center, there's a red knob. Press and turn it to adjust the upper or lower limit. Wiring is simple. On the side, you'll typically find three or four wires. The yellow wire serves as the common wire, green represents the lower limit contact, and red denotes the upper limit contact. The fourth wire, if present, is the ground wire. Again, wire colors may vary by model or brand, so always refer to the data sheet or manual. Inside, the gauge houses two normally open contacts that operate based on pressure levels, with three working modes. When the current pressure falls below the lower limit, the circuit between the common wire and the lower limit contact closes, signaling a low pressure condition. If the pressure is between the lower and upper limits, both the lower and upper contacts are open. No signal is sent. The system stays in a steady state. When the pressure exceeds the upper limit, the circuit between the common wire and the upper limit contact closes, signaling a high pressure alert. This makes it ideal for automated pressure control systems like pumps, compressors, and fluid tanks. Need reliable pressure gauges and industrial automation components? Shop now at ato.com, your one-stop automation hub.